Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn to develop Selenium Python framework using Cursor AI. So let's begin. Cursor is basically an AI code editor and here uh, just click on download. So it will download the file over there and meanwhile scroll down you will see that you will have a chat and composer on the right side and on the left side you will be having your files. So if you scroll down so when you are writing your code so cursor lets you breeze through changes by editing your next edit so basically if you look at this one it is guiding you right and also it knows your code base so get answers from your code base or refer to the files or the docs so when you are actually interacting with this one so you can, you can refer the files okay so it, it knows your code best so based on your code base it will give you more realistic solutions or the code okay and you can add it in the natural language you can see that just provide the natural language parallelize this because api is slow and it's actually fixing the code as per your simple english prompt so this is the beauty of this cursor ai and once it's being downloaded so simply we need to install this one so run this one and click accept next then next 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 and install so it will install and after installation you will see that it's pretty much similar to the vs code and it will pick up the, my previous codes as well or previous projects as well but we'll kick start with the fresh project over this one so the installation is pretty much easy step by step and it's really quick but once you have installed it and you're trying to open this one it might take some time and also what you need to do is that you need to set up account here in order to use the ai features so either you can uh, continue with the google or you can continue with the github right so let me continue with my google account here and simply continue and once uh, you are done so it will share the information about the usage because it's a pricing base so let me show you the pricing here as well so here the basic information about you your account trial and you have used uh, no request out of 150 fast request quota and you have used zero fast request of this model so because we have just signed up that's why it's zero but as soon as we start writing the code hitting the different areas in the cursor you will see the difference over here and here if you go to the pricing basically so pricing is basically free in the free model you will have the pro uh, two weeks trial 2000 completions 50 slow premium requests and if you go for the pro basically so everything in the hobby plus unlimited completions 50 first premium requests per month unlimited slow premium requests and in the business is basically everything in pro plus enforced privacy mode organization wide centralized team billing admin dashboard with the user states and so on so if i go back here and let's launch this one and here you will see that it, will, it might take some time to launch for the first time but you will see that it's pretty much similar to the vs code now uh, we have already signed up to our cursor account so this is a cursor tab and here you see that let's you can open any project or you can just go to file you see that it's pretty much similar to the vs code 10 miller run and pretty much same right so what i'll do is that uh just go here and let me create a new folder and i'll say cursor demo selenium and we will open this folder inside this one so file and open folder and this folder is on desktop so cursor demo this one open this one and here you see that we have a chat on the right side and for this particular tutorial i will be using the all actual demo website or hrm demo so this is a url and this let me copy this one and just go back to the cursor and you see that we still haven't have anything it's just a blank project so 
I will say develop robust Selenium PyTest framework. Framework will use page object model design pattern there should be separate folders for screenshots environments test data and so on and here let me create this spelling for this one folders folders and automate orange hlm website and now just press send and see what it does for you so i will help you to create the robust in the python framework with the page of the model design pattern for automating the original website i will set up uh, organize the project structure with the separate folders for the different components first let me create the basic project structure and necessary files great let's create a well structured project i will create the following structure first create this requirement.txt it's created a requirement.txt and it's, it's guiding us is what are doing so based on this one for example what i need to do is that i need to accept this one so if i click on this one so this file has been accepted similarly the well drafted uh you know a readme file just click on accept or you can reward this one and if you go here we have config file and you see that the base url for this particular for ci cd basically let's click on this one and then we have a base and click accept login accept and you see that it's actually got the locators from this order hrm and if you see that it's by name username and by name passwords they will go here and if i go here inspect uh, this one so basically you will see that we have a name equals to username and then we have name equals to password so it automatically picked up from the url identified the fields and everything is really smart in this way so it's pick up the username field password field login field error message everything everything then it can take uh, basically contest.py file accept this file then we have this login file and then we have this utility file and it created a basically a uh, driver factory for this one just accept this file and just accepting as per the files created by the cursor ai so all files actually being created so you can go here and see which files are getting and how it actually created so it says that let's create the necessary directories to complete the setup let's make directory config pages test utilities which is actually now you see that here we don't have that test data folder screenshot report so i will say just run this command okay and just create the folders because this these folders are needed run command so as i asked or give the permission so it actually executed the command and created the folder for the reports screenshots and the test data now uh it's updating all the other files based on these folders and everything now it's actually coming with the project structure here it contains all the configuration files here we will contain the page updates in the page update model here we contain the test here we contain the utility function here this folder will be used for storing the test data here we'll be having the test execution reports for storing the failure screenshots and the key components explain everything now they're saying that I just create a virtual environment run this one and it will actually execute this command you know this is how it is easy to work with the cursor ai we are just guiding and rest of all the work is being done by the cursor 
Now virtual environment has been set up and they say that okay pip installed all requirements so basically this has requirements like we need selenium, we need pyotest, we need webdriver, we need dotted, we need all these packages so simply click on run so it will run all these and actually install everything which is mentioned in requirements.txt. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much, and see you in the next tutorial.